Mr. Zelensky has just touched down in Japan, uh, where he's going to speak to the G7 nations. Uh, he's also going to have a meeting with the Japanese Prime Minister, uh, the first since 2019. He is equipped with a peace plan of his own, which uh, doesn't cede territory to Russia. He's advanced that to the um, Arabs yesterday at the Arab conference, and he is going to do the same thing at the G7, I imagine. It, it's, not a, um, it, it's not a presentation which is going to be uh, accepted without, um, with, without serious uh, modification. Um, but it is a realistic uh, indication that he is looking for peace. And one of the points that he made yesterday, very carefully and very forcefully, was that his is a defensive action and he is not attacking uh, any other country or mainland Russia. So he's making a very clear statement that he is not responsible for the attacks on mainland Russia which are almost certainly false flags manipulating the domestic audience and connived at by the FSB, the um, Russian services. It's uh, a daunting, daunting prospect to, um, uh, for world leaders to deal with this, but deal with it they must. And with, uh, with the support of so many world leaders, maybe a peace can be brokered, maybe.